What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. How's everybody doing today? Hope you're having a great one. In this video, we've got something a little unique, something we haven't done on the Urban Moto channel before. As you can see, we still have the beautiful DRZ, which has not been ridden in, gosh, almost a year. We've got the beautiful R7 and the Harley Davidson Street Bob 107. But that's not what this video is about. Oh no, in today's video, That's right, we've got a Telaria XXX. So this is the Telaria from Luna Cycles. I ordered it about a week and a half ago, maybe two weeks. It came in and the box looks great. Uh, I've seen some pictures and videos and they don't really look that good. Also, I know it's a little loud in here. We got a fan going, we got the AC going. It's 104 outside today. But in this video, we are gonna do an unboxing, assembly, and first ride and just get some first impressions super excited to get this thing going and i know you guys will be too there's gonna be a lot of content with the Telaria on the channel and so if you like this type of content you like e-bike content you guys know what a Telaria is subscribe to the channel there's gonna be so much more of this coming up and i promise there's gonna be more videos than once every like eight months i promise all right let's start unboxing this thing go first look at her sort of kind of all right and we're gonna see how much uh, is actually involved in the assembly of this thing I've seen some videos didn't look too bad but uh, you know that's never true <laughs> and there she is look at that doesn't that look sweet I know it's gonna look better once everything gets on it but Oh, that's nice. The rear tire's already on there. So, we got Miss Urban Moto. No free feet in this one, guys. All right, we got the handlebars out. And then, guys, they gave us lunch, too. Look, lunch packets. You definitely want to eat these. They're delicious. Oh, another lunch packet. Seat, obviously, as people have said, super narrow. They make some aftermarket seats for like 80 bucks. So, may grab an aftermarket seat that's a little bit wider eventually. Um, and then I've heard a lot of people complaining about the uh, little key fob thing here as well. So may do something about the key fob, like do something different there. Um, but everything else is super, super nice. Like really, really clean, like looks awesome. Can't wait to get on this thing and rip around. All right, guys, here's where we're at so far. We've got the cardboard block under there hopefully that's gonna hold everything for a little while while I get the front tire on and everything that front uh, that front axle was a pain in the butt I had to get a freaking mallet and a socket and hammer the freaking axle out right there all right front tires on sort of kind of so now these little lockers go back in yep don't want to go too tight and because I don't know what the hell I'm doing it took me forever to get the handlebars on but turns out a little rubber mallet gets this down on there just perfect so all I'm doing now is just putting these little side screws back in got a little scuffy poo on there already but that's okay all right guys we're about to get her down on our kickstand for the first time. All right. There we go. All right, guys, I kind of gave up. We got her built. Here she is. Uh, kind of annoyed. Don't really want to take it fully apart, but also still have the uh, packaging all over the place, which, you know, is kind of a pain in the butt. Like, why would they do that? Um, but do I really care? I don't, I don't know. Probably, eventually, yes. Okay, fun fact. I've seen a lot of these videos. There, here it is, and this one right here. But look at this rat's nest, dude. Like, I had to fish all this crap out just to find that little wire right there. And there we go. Snipped wire. 
and now we have full power. Alright, and because these things are going to be a pain in the ass, I went ahead and got a little, little tape. Alright guys, we got it in sport mode, you know how we're going to do it. And uh, we're just leaving my driveway right now. freaking crazy this thing is so fast you guys can see the speedo there maybe not but this thing is freaking wild dude like it is so freaking fast what the hell man i gotta get all that crap off i like the headlight too it's pretty cool i know a lot of people switch that out which you know who knows over time may do some mods to this thing don't really know seat kind of sucks but it is what it is but overall man this thing freaking rips i am shocked at how fast this damn thing goes <laughs> it is i was going 50 miles an hour 50 miles an hour i weigh 190 pounds and it was going 50 miles an hour in no time the torque is crazy it is so fun but anyway guys if you like this video do me a favor hit that like button subscribe to the channel it's free helps me out a ton and click that bell to be notified when new videos come out thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next video later